which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from who? God. Having the glory of who? God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Whew, like a stone of jasper, as clear as crystal. Beautiful how it came down. Could you imagine that you're seeing, if you could see like a jewel, some kind of jewel and just flash light on it and how beautiful, radiant it would be. It's beautiful. This is how it came down in heaven. is like a jasper star. Clear as crystal. Verse 12 said, and had, this city had and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. And at the, at the gates, 12 angels. So at every gate stood 12, one angel at every gate. So 12 angels watching out and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Amen. And in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. So you got, boom, this side, boom, this side, boom, this side, boom, this side. So it was like a big square and, and, and had 12 levels, 12 floors, boom, boom, going up, and three gates on each side, boom, three on that side, three on that side, three on that side, three on that side, so three ways in, and at every gate was an angel, and at every floor had the uh, names of the, what is that, and the names, were, were, on the 12 gates were the names of the children of Israel, the 12, remember the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, their name's going to be on the gates, all right, and on the foundations, each floor had a different name. So if you was in the elevator, you say, I'm going up to Apostle Paul. Uh, wait a minute, he was one of the 12, though. He was, okay, uh, uh, who? Apostle Peter. Okay, I'm going to, let's go up to First Peter. All right, we'll go to, uh, boom, see? So they're named after them. All right? Verse 15, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof and the city lieth four square and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof and 140 and four cubits, according to the measure of a man that is of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was a jasper. And the city was pure what? Glass. Like unto what? Glass. Clear glass. The city was pure gold. That's bad. I, I know that. That's got to be pretty. It's beyond what your eyes in this earth, these little bitty eyeballs we got. It's beyond whatever they ever seen. It's not, you can't even compare. The Bible even says that I, your natural eyes have never seen ever. I have not seen nor ear heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man in your mind. The things that God had prepared for them to love him. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, ye may be also. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for y'all, my saved people. He said, I'm going to come back and get y'all. I promise you, I'm going to come back and get you. And he is. He's going to come back and get us. This place is going to be beautiful. Your eyes can't imagine how beautiful this is. Pure gold. Imagine this whole house is made of gold. The whole house, floor and everything. The whole city, like clear glass. That's the purest gold you'll ever get in your life. Mm -hmm. The purest gold. You cannot get that pure gold on planet Earth anywhere. You can't, they can't, it can't be made down here on planet Earth. Pure gold can't be made here. It just can't be made. In heaven, to get, clear, to get gold to be clear as glass is impossible here on Earth. You have to go to heaven to do it. Mm -hmm. God said it's going to be clear as glass. Verse 19 said, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, Chal 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 and the fourth, the fourth and emerald. Look at all the different things. The fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl. The ninth, a topaz. The tenth, a chrysophorus. 
man, this is some stuff boy, I ain't never heard of. The 11th, a jasmine, jasmine, the 12th, an amethyst, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several, so every gate was a pearl. Think of a pearl on somebody's neck. So when you see a gate, you usually see a gate and it's a fence, you gotta go like this. When we go in, bring the bottom on you. This is a pearl. Think of a pearl. Now we see something maybe close. Uh, when you go through those things that go like this, you ever went into somewhere? Mm -hmm. They had those doors that went around in a circle like that? Mm -hmm. What do they call that? A revolving door. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are pearls. Imagine a gate. Just, God is just using stuff that we, men on earth, idolize. These are things that I use just for uh, my tools up in heaven. All right, so the gates were all pearls. Look at this. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was what? Pure, Pure gold. gold. As it were transparent glass. Transparent means you see straight through it. All right? And I saw no temple therein. There weren't no churches there? You ain't had no church. Now, how many churches you see here? I'm putting it up. Thousands. Thousands. Mm -hmm. Thousands. Millions. One on every corner. All right, sometimes it'd be four on every corner. On the corner. It'd be four on the corner. All right, different than I'm at. And he said, say no temple up there, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. God is the temple. He said, I'm the church. Don't even worry about no church. And the city had no need of the sun. Wait a minute, the sun don't rise, the sun don't rise. Neither of the moon. We ain't got no moon up here to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it. And the lamb is the light thereof. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of sense does that make? How in the world you ain't got no sun, no moon? You ain't got nothing up there? Jesus is the light of the world. He's the light of that world. He's the light of this world. If you would just only open your eyes. 24. And the nations of, the, of them which are what? Saved. Listen to this real closely. Now, I got which are saved. Circle in my Bible. And the nations. Where do nations come from? Uh, the earth. The earth. Nations are another word for country. A country. All the countries of the whole planet Earth which are saved shall walk in the light of it. Which are saved and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day because there's no need. You only shut your gates because you're fear for war. There ain't going to be no war up there. So you don't need to shut your gates at all. For there shall be no light, no night there. Ain't gonna never, it, 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 it'll never be dark. Ain't that gonna be nice? It ain't never gonna be dark up there. Never. It ain't never gonna be dark. All right. And they shall bring the glory of the, oh, I already read that. Is that right? Yeah. And they shall bring the glory of, and honor of the nations into it. Verse 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Neither whatsoever work of abomination or make of a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Your name better be in that book because ain't nothing getting into that place that defiles. Anything that makes God look bad, anything that makes God mad, anything that don't please God, it ain't going to get in there. Did y'all just see that? You can't go. You can't go in there. It's not going to be in there. Verse 20, 21. And he showed me what? I love this part of scripture. It said, a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, and in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the what? Tree of life. Now, I thought tree of life was in the Garden of Eden. Now, what happened here? Now, that was in the Garden of Eden. Now, where is it now? How did it get there? All right, so the tree of life is there. All right, in the midst. Now, what's the midst mean? Middle. The very middle of the street of it. And on either side of the river. All right, now what does that mean? Somebody pick, fix that scene for me. Both sides. Huh? On both sides. Both sides of what? The river. All right, let's look. In the midst, the very middle of the street. So you got a street going straight up the street here. In the very middle of the street. Here's the street right here. Now, in the middle of the street right here, and on either side of the river, and on both sides of the river, the tree of life. 
So there's a tree of life which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruits every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. All right, every month, these trees, so you got trees running all the way down the street like the palm trees. Like imagine a river. It comes, look, verse 21, 22, verse 1, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. So the throne of God must be right here in the center of the city, right there in the middle. Boom, right there. His throne right there. He's sitting on the throne of the throne. Now, out of that throne is a river that comes out of there, clear as crystal, uh, uh, clear as crystal, coming out of there. Then you have a street there. And in the street, on either side of the street, in both sides of the river, there are, like, imagine palm trees, but the trees of, uh, of life, the tree of life running all the way down the street, as far as your eye can see. Okay, and that's for the healing of the nation. And I said, that what, the nations need to be healed all the time? So a lot of stuff, I'm like, why would that have to happen? Would we have to be healed all the time? So uh, I got some stuff on that. We, that'll take us into a long story. Verse 3, it says, and there shall be no more curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. You see, you know how people say, well, I'll just, you know, I'll just, we ain't got to do all that. You ain't going to do, I ain't got to do all that. Guess what? If you don't want to do nothing for God right here, you will hate being in heaven because you're going to work all your life in there. He said, you're going to be servants up there, you're going to serve him up in heaven. But the thing is, it ain't going to be painful. You ain't going to run out your arms and be tired. Like, oh, I'm tired, Lord. I need to sit down. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to worry about that. Because you're going to love doing what you do, and ain't going to be no tired there. There ain't going to be no reason for you to go to the hospital. Verse 4 said, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. So it'll be like you living here, but you get to see God every day. All your life, you get to see God. Pull that out of there. You get to see God. And verse 5 said, and there shall be no night there, and they, sh they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. See how the angel wouldn't let him worship him? The angel's like, Whoa, I don't, be, don't worship me, man. You'll get me in trouble. <laughs> don't worship me, man. You're crazy. Don't do that. John just was so fascinated by what he was saying. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I saw that. Am I? Is it legal or lawful for me to see this stuff? I can't believe I just saw that. Well, let me get on down and worship you because you shoot, you brought me all this business and stuff. Let me go ahead and worship you. The angel's like, wait a minute. Whoa, hold on. You get me sent to hell. Shoot, that's what Lucifer went. He was a friend of mine, man. He was down there. I mean, well, that's where he's going to be at this time. All right. So, where are we? Where was I? All right. So, you don't do it. Uh, verse 9. Then said he unto me, I already said that. Verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. He that is just, was unjust, what's unjust mean? Unrighteous. unrighteous. He that is unrighteous, let him be unrighteous still. Now, so there's old saying saying, the way the tree leans is the way it falls. That's the way it is. And, 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 and so the way you live is the way or condition you'll die and be judged. Yeah. See? So if you die, your heart was beating, and you was living like the devil and everything, you die in that condition, you're going to hell. That's the end of that. It say, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still when he dies, in other words. And he which is filthy, he going to still be filthy. Let him be filthy still. Woe unto her that is filthy, the Bible says in Zephaniah 3 1. Woe unto you. The condition of deep suffering is coming upon you. If you're just filthy and you die that way, you're going to stay that way. And where the tree leans, the way it falls. That's the way it's going to be. You're going to be stuck like that. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. On that day he dies, he's going to be righteous. And he that is holy, let him be holy when? Still. Still. You're going to still be holy when you die. 